Question five. In the reaction shown below, um, this compound C CH33 plus one acts as a blank acid. So we have Arrhenius, Brinsted, Lowry, Lewis, or all three. Okay, so it does take place in water, so I guess it could technically be any one of these. But for an Arrhenius acid, we have to see an increase in the H3O plus concentration, and we don't see that as a product at all. For Brinsted-Lowry, we have to see the donation of a proton, H+. Well, this carbon doesn't have an H+, so over here, look, what's happening are these two things are combining. So it's not a Brinsted-Lowry acid either. But it is a Lewis acid because a Lewis acid accepts a... pair of electrons, and so that's what happens. Do you see these electrons here on the water? They're shared here, and now this compound, this CCH33+, has accepted a pair of electrons that's now shared between the carbon and the oxygen. So that is known as a Lewis acid.